existed a world known as Peleida. Nature spirits slumbered for centuries in mines rich with amber. Everything changed upon the arrival of an ancient craft. Three sisters emerged, and using the vast reservoir of amber, they awakened the nature spirits and beautified the land. An alliance was forged between the spirits and the sisters. This union unlocked an extraordinary magic, enabling the creation of the first Nevis. A unique people who in time would complete Pileida. As the world evolved, Two of the sisters left Peleida, leaving their younger sibling, Giltena, to nurture and guide the newly created people. Giltena's presence was at first welcomed, and the Nevis worshipped her, crowning her queen. Sadly, Giltena's lust for power and adoration knew no bounds, and the people suffered. With no one to challenge her power, Queen Giltena became a tyrant. As her strength increased, the people of Peleida suffered more and more. Rumors of Giltena's cruelty eventually reached her two sisters, and in their fury, they returned to Palena. Giltena was prepared, for she knew that if her sisters were destroyed, she would be all-powerful. Stronger and wiser sisters eventually overcame their rebellious sibling, imprisoning her in their owl. Sadly, their life force was depleted except for one last surge of power. The energy burst transformed the two sisters into an amber shard, an amulet to absorb Giltena's power and keep her sealed inside the owl. Balance was restored, and Peleida was peaceful once more. With Queen Giltena defeated, the world of Peleida was reborn. Everyone forgot the Great War until two young siblings, Mina and Valdis, discovered Giltena's tomb. Mina was wary of the discovery, yet Valdus hungered for adventure. When Valdus gazed upon the amber shard, he could not resist. But Mina felt troubled by the shard's presence, and although Valdus loved his sister, he would not heed her warning. That night, Giltena entered Valdus's dreams, urging him to destroy the shard and set her free. She promised a great reward. Dreading the consequences, Mina made a desperate attempt to stop Valdis, but the voice in his head would not be denied.
Having destroyed the shard, Giltina's wish was granted. Her way to freedom now opened. Fearing what her brother had done, Mina ran back to her village to sound a warning. Mina pleaded with the Council of Elders to come and see for themselves, urging them to hurry. The Elders murmured, surely this was the gibberish of myth and legend. Mina called out to Valdis, but it was too late. As the Elders watched, a dreadful spectacle began to unfold. The resurrection of Queen Giltana. True to Giltana's promise, Valdis was rewarded for his loyalty and proclaimed Prince of Palena. Valdis imagined a new life with his sister by his side. But Mina could not imagine life under Giltina's thumb. So as the queen snatched Valdus away, the once inseparable bond between brother and sister was now severed, their paths chosen. The resurrected Queen Giltina occupied the throne of Peleda for a second time. Many of the old authorities were banished. There seemed to be no hope. No one was exempt from the Queen's evil plans. The people groaned under the weight of their servitude. But at Mina's village, a resistance was growing. A special weapon had been constructed. The device was designed to destroy the Queen's palace, the source of her energy. In a desperate attempt to save Valdis, Mina explained the plan, hoping that her brother would place the device in the Queen's chambers. But Giltina's hold over Valdis was too strong, and her eyes and ears were everywhere. Later, Valdis discovered the true and terrifying nature of Queen Giltina's ambition. Valdis learned that beautiful Palada and its gentle people were doomed, and he was responsible. Consumed with guilt, he traveled to Mina's village, desperate to atone for what he had done. Valdis offered to help the resistance. He would take the weapon into Giltina's chamber to destroy her. Caught unawares, Valdis pretended he had discovered a plot to kill the Queen and had brought her the device to prove it. An excellent trophy, she mused. Valdis knew the Queen's vengeful heart, but to what extent he did not know. Giltina had already decided. Mina's village would be destroyed, and Valdis would be the one to do it. With 
With war on the horizon, Mina ran back to her village to warn of the impending doom. But her cries were too late. Thaldus gave the order to attack. Giltina's plans were a success. When Valus returned, Queen Giltina had prepared a reward for his obedience. The gift released a dark amber spirit. Valus was now bound in everlasting servitude. Miraculously, Mina and the elder named Nicholas were the sole survivors. Nature spirits, searching for signs of life, urged Mina and Nicholas to follow them into the heart of the forest. Something remarkable unveiled before their eyes. The nature spirits guided Mina and the elder Miklos to a secret underground cavern. The rebel leader revealed a secret weapon. The craft was an untested prototype owl that would match Giltina's power and defeat her once and for all. But the lure of the queen was strong and a traitor was in their midst. In eager anticipation of a reward, Nicholas revealed that the Resistance was well and truly alive. And eternal life serving the Queen was an attractive offer to a man well stricken in years. Giltina vowed to deal with the rebel force herself. Caught unawares, the Resistance assembled their forces, bravely rising to meet the challenge. The battle lasted only minutes. The rebels were crushed. Who would save beautiful Peleda now? All seemed lost until a glimmer of hope. Valvus had sent a transmission device in a desperate search for his sister. He had a message for her. He would do what was necessary to right his wrongs and end the evil that he released into Palena. Queen Giltina had defeated the Resistance Army. Now she would crush the rebel headquarters. Mina ran to the prototype owl. But what could one person hope to achieve? Heroes are the people who do what has to be done, regardless of the consequences. Sacrificing his own life meant possible victory for Mina and hope for the future of Palena. Giltina's link to the powerful amber that fed her minions had been severed. With 
Giltana's army defeated, Mina's final challenge was to destroy the queen. She activated the secret weapon, a link to the power of the nature spirits of Palena. The prototype was effective! Despite all odds, Mina was victorious. A hero had been born. Now that the corrupting influence had been abolished, peace returned to the people of Peleda. Though the bond between brother and sister had been broken, all was forgiven. The memory of her brother Valdis would not be forgotten. But, like all noteworthy tales of adventure, betrayal, and intrigue, a story is seldom complete without a twist. For the spirit of my queen merely sleeps, awaiting the dawn of a new era, with me as king, and Giltana by my side forever! <laughs>